Hello and welcome to this Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to count the number of names or words in each cells using Power Query. So let's get started. By the way, if you're new to this channel or you've not joined this channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified when a new video is uploaded. So let's dive in. Now, basically in column H, I've got this list of names. Now in cell H2, we can count the number of names in that cell. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have count of six names. Now in cell H3, we have count of two names and so on and so forth. Now, what we need to do first is to get this data set into the Power Query Editor. And to do that, we need to format the data as an Excel table. And of course, this data set is officially formatted as an Excel table. So I can go ahead and right click and choose get data from table slash range here. Or I can come to the traditional data tab of the ribbon under the get and transform data group, click on from table slash range. Right, so we've been able to successfully get the data into the Power Query Editor. So what I'm going to do next is to click on the Add Column tab. Now under the General Group, click on Custom Column. Now in the Custom Column, we need to provide a name for our Custom Column. And of course, we need to write the Custom Column formula. Now in this case, we're going to use some string functions in the Power Query M code, okay? We're going to use functions such as text.length text dot train and text dot replace m functions so without wasting our time let's do that so i'm going to type in length and i can see all the arrays of m functions that contains length in there so i can see the text dot length so click on that open the parentheses now this functions returns the number of characters within a given text now inside the text dot length i'm going to wrap the text dot trim m function okay so i'm going to type in trim so i can see the trim function press the tab key open parentheses now this trim functions re removes all the leading and trailing white spaces now i need to provide the input parameter for the text dot trim which is this name so double click on this and i can just close the two functions for now and i can click on okay now we can see this gave us 45 text length without any leading or trailing spaces for these names in row number one okay and this is 12 without any leading or trailing spaces now i'm going to put this back in the edit mode because we are not done so i'm going to use minus again we need a text dot length so i'm going to type in length and i can look for the text length click on it open parentheses now i need the text dot replace function so i can search for the text dot replace okay in here press the tab key open parentheses now basically the text dot replace function replaces all the occurrences of the give substring in the text now inside the text dot replace i need the text dot trim function to trim the leading and trailing white spaces so again trim i can say the text dot trim press the tab key open parentheses then i can give the value here and i can close this for now now put in a comma so we are back to the text dot replace and i need to provide the old text now let me just move this to the right now the old text are the demarcation between the names in each of the cells okay that's going to be inside double quote double quote with a space in between putting a comma now the new text is nothing i want to factor in now nothing simply means you have to use double quote without anything in between so i can close the text dot replace m function i can close the text dot length and you can see no error whatsoever however when i click ok you will discover that we are almost done but this gave us five of count of names now we actually have six let's count one two three four five six so, but it gave us five and this is count of two names but it returned one now we need to come back here and just add plus one 
at the end of this formula here. Just type in plus one and that will give us the accurate count of names. That is lovely. You can see we have six now and this is now two count of names and this is four and so on and so forth. Then you can just tidy up this and let's call it count of names. Okay, click enter. And then once you're done in the home tab, close and load one or close and load two. And then in the import data wizard, you can dump it in a new sheet. Let's click OK. And that's so you can see we have the result. The count of these names is six. The count of this is two. The count of this name here in cell A6. Let me just expand this is actually 14. So this is basically how we can perform the count of no of names or numbers or words in Excel using Power Query. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, you can like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and bye for now. Cheers.